like commit a first and select a random for from a group consisting of eight boys and four girls given that there is at least one girl in the committee so so there is at least one in the girl in the committee so that what are the scenarios here right so so we could actually curtail the sample space and do this or we can start from the uh, from the i mean as in there are two methods to do it as in as i said like for conditional probability either you curtail the sample space or you work with the formula so we will say that let's say a is the event where we are saying that the the event is uh, there is at least one girl in the committee there is at least one girl in the committee okay and b is there are exactly two girls in the committee okay so now what are they asking they are saying that p b given a is what they are saying that p b given a is what we are supposed to find and this is p b intersection a we got to find and then we have to write p of a right this is all right so let's write this down also so that we do understand this so girls boys total okay so now what we are doing is that we may, we are starting with this four girls right so i am saying that there will be zero girls and then four boys okay so four student right so so the uh, how do we do it is that 4c0 into 8c4 so what i am saying here is that out of four girls i am choosing none so this is uh, so selection ncr is the selection right i mean ncr yeah. selection so out of n object we are selecting r object so mm -hmm. out of four object i am selecting zero right 4c0 is that what i'm saying here yes, for the for the boys there are eight boys out of them i'm choosing four boys so i'm saying that this is 8c4 okay and then there could be one girl and then three boys so that will be 4c1 into 8c3 two girls two boys then 4c2 into 8c2 correct then three girls and one boy so this will be 4c3 into 8c1 and then four girls and zero boys then 4c4 into 8c0 so there's a, these are the all possible cases right right so now what they're saying here so they're saying at least one girl in the committee right so at least one girl in the committee meaning that i should have everything except this one right that's what it should be right so when we are having so this is what i should be having except this right so there is another way of doing it is what i'm trying to actually explain that i'm saying that these are all the situation right and i'm looking at the situation wherein there is no restriction like all of them are mixed up oh, ways i mean selection right and we are doing so we are looking at probability right so if you are looking at probability of uh, basically choosing when I mean, there is no restriction right so what we can do we can just mix them up eight and four boys and then they, they say that 12c4 is what we'll be doing right so um just this is the total probability now you've got to actually add them up so this will give you a total and this will give you the e individual probability uh, so this is the total number of ways right this is the total number of ways so if you sum it up right a entire thing you will get 12c4 itself if you sum this up right you will actually get 12c4 mind one by one if you're doing it or this way you will get the same thing okay so but yes. what am i looking at i'm looking at find the probability that there are exactly two girls in the committee or this right so we are looking at pb intersection a first of all so what we are looking at is this uh, pb intersection a meaning that at exactly two girls in the committee exactly two girls in the committee and then there is at least one girl in the committee so this is the one which is exactly two girls this, this is the part right so a is at least one in girl in the committee. So a one girl in the committee is from here to here, right? All this is part of it, right? But exactly two girls in the committee is this one only, right? So this is nothing but actually uh, 
this event is pb itself actually if you can say this is pb itself and then this is upon pa now if you want to calculate pb right how do you calculate pb is 4c2 into 8c2 4c2 into 8c2 upon whatever be the total probability which is 12c4 actually you can write this as 12c4 then what is pa pa is all this entire thing so this is gonna be actually equal to 4c1 into 8c3 plus 4c2 into 8c2 plus 4c3 into 8c1 plus 4c4 into 8c0 and this entire thing would be divided by 12c4 to get the probability so this and this cancels out now you will be actually having a lot of work to do so 4c2 so 4c2 is gonna be 6 okay so six we calculated what is 8c2 gonna be so 8c2 is gonna be 8 into 7 i'll just quickly say what is that is gonna be into 2 which is gonna be 28 so this is gonna be 6 into 28 okay so uh and then this 4c1 will be actually equal to 4 8c3 will be actually equal to 876 upon 3 to 1 this is a quick way to calculate so uh that gives you 56 plus 4c2 into 8c2 anyways we have calculated over 6 into 28 then 4c3 is 4 8c1 is 8 then 4c1 is 1 and 8c0 is 1 so this is what we have got the numbers so now i will multiply so this So this requires little bit of work here. Okay. Um, I was saying that I, instead of calculating this, right, I could have calculated. So I was just trying to explain something and then I, I thought, okay, let's not talk about that. Okay. So one of the other things which you'll be observing as, as this is the denominator, right? So this is the denominator. And uh, if I sum up this last one, then I will get the total probability, right? So this is the 425 of there. And then only thing which I have not, uh, multiplied is this right which is gonna be 4c0 is gonna be 1 and 8c4 let me calculate 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 upon 4 3 2 1 okay so, so 70 so this is 70 so i'm saying that this is 495 now i was saying that this is also gonna be equal to 12c4 so let's calculate and then let's talk about that bare gyara das no upon Shar and into 45 and that is actually also equal to 495 okay so see what i have done as this 12 c4 is what i am saying 12 c4 is 495 and this also when you sum it up this is also coming as 495 so here what we did is we are saying that there are 12 people, right? Out of 12, I have to select four. I'm not bothered about uh, whether I'm getting one boys or two boys or whatever. So here I'm saying that the total probability, like or the total ways, total number of ways, yeah, selection of four people out of 12 will be 12 C4, right? And actually that 12 C4 is also, if you do it this way as well, you will get the same thing, okay? So I was trying to explain another approach to it. So what, what I was saying was about to explain is that this probability of A, if I could calculate the probability of this event, which is like probability of A is that at least one girl, right? What I'm saying that if I calculate the probability that there is no girl selected and then subtract it from one, then I will also get the same probability, right? Is what I was ex actually trying to explain. So if I do this, which is uh, 70 upon 495, is what I am saying. So 70 upon 495 is the probability of selecting no girl. So selecting at least one girl is 1 minus 70 upon 495. 70 is this number, right? And 495 is total number. So if you subtract this, what you get is 425, which is 425 upon 495, is what is this number? Uh, 
calculated that way too, so that you don't have to calculate each of them. All you had to calculate was twelve C four. All you had to calculate was this and this. There will be only three of them you had to calculate, and then you would have got the same answer. Yeah. 